You see them? Well, not yet, but you should be able to see it when it starts to pop on. We are live. We are live. Good morning. Yes. <laughs> good morning, everyone. As you come in, please say good morning and let us know where you are listening from. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Everybody, as you come in, say good morning. Let us know where you're listening from. And also remember to send us some hearts and like and share. Good morning, Shelly from Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, Tennessee. Tennessee is in the house. Good morning. We're going to give everybody some time to come in. You guys know we're going to have a really good time. We're going to be crying. We're going to be laughing. We're going to be talking. Make sure you invite your friends and let them get some of this laughter as well. Laughter is good for the soul. Share it. Share all of this. <laughs> Ray says share all of it. All of it. Good morning, Andrea. Cincinnati, Ohio is in the house this morning. Got You'll be able to tell her in a minute. Ooh, ooh, tell Granny I said hello. You'll be able to tell her, I'm, I'm sure, soon. Oh, Shelly said, tell Granny hello. <laughs> Believe me, Shelly, Granny's going to come through today. We're going to try to get her to come through and roll with us this morning. All right, you guys, people are coming in. Thank you all so much for um, coming in and sharing your morning with us. Hey, Donna, Barbara, my cousin from VA. So I want to say good morning to you all and welcome to the j Spirations live show. I am your host, Mrs. j Spire. For those of you who are new to our show, j Spirations Live is a motivational movement that's designed to bring encouragement and motivation into our community. We believe that there is healing in conversation, and so we absolutely have real talk with real people. And we also believe that laughter is good for the soul. So with that being said, I want to welcome you to Crying or Laughing, We Talking. Today, we are so excited to have two special guests in the studio with us today. We have content creator, Just Ray, and of course, you guys know that Granny is going to be stopping by, so she is going yes. to be in the house. So I want to give you guys a little bit of background information on Ray. I know you guys are used to seeing her on social media and she's um, entertaining you guys. Um, and she's talking, she's being granny and she's being mama. Um, but she is an absolutely awesome person. I'm so thankful that I've had the opportunity to sit and talk with her a little bit um, and get to know her. So just Ray is from Jackson, Tennessee. She graduated from Jackson Central Mary High School and graduated from Middle Tennessee State University in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Just Ray is a content creator. Bet you guys didn't know this, but she is a musician and she is a comedian. Ray loves to make people laugh and smile. She has an awesome, outstanding attitude and work ethic. She is very independent and strong-minded. Her goal is to always be successful in what she does and to always put God first. So, Ray, welcome to the j Spirations Live Show. Hi. Thank you for having me. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great this morning. I am doing fantastic. Can't complain. Listen, I'm so excited to have you here this morning. Um, but before we get started, I do want to take the opportunity. I want to tell you happy belated birthday. I know you just had Thank a birthday. You. I um, did. And as we were talking, we were saying that we are seven days apart from being birthday twins because mine was yes. 16. So that's why we connected so quickly um, when we came together. 
Right. So, again, if you guys are just coming in, you are tuning in to the Jaspirations Live Show, and I'm your host, Mrs. Jaspire. And today we are talking to content creator Ray, and we are so excited to have her um, here today. So, Ray, I want to start off by saying so, when I first came across your videos, it took me back down memory lane. And I <laughs> laughed <laughs> and I laughed and I laughed. It reminded me so much much of like my childhood like I know so many other people as well but it reminded me of right. all the things that we um that took place with my mom and my grandmother and my great aunts you know just all of the things and so um I'm sure that's why so many people follow you as well so tell us a little bit about how you got started with creating content on social media um so it started a long time ago um, when I was probably in like middle and high school, my friend had a computer, so I was creating content, but I never pushed it out. So I was afraid of pushing it out. I was afraid, afraid of being accepted because I didn't fit the norm. And, you know, it just, a lot of different things transpired. So I was like, eh, I'm not going to do it. But in 2016 or 17, I felt the nudge from God again, because I went, to, I went to school at MTSU. So I graduated with entertainment. And, um, so God kept nudging me. So I ignored it. But in 2018, it came back again. And I was like, okay, no one is going to watch this. Right. So I was like, too many people are doing it. No one is going to watch it. I don't really care. You know, it was just like too much. And so in 2020, the end of 2020, I was like, okay, I'm just going to put this out there and just see what happens. So I was really in a time of depression, mm. um, just sadness and, and all this other thing. Cause I felt like I wasn't advanced in life. I didn't have what I wanted to have. I didn't, you know, it's just the normal things that everyone goes through. So I was thinking about all of that and I just needed a laugh, right? I just needed a laugh. I just, because laughter helped me. So I was like, I'm just going to put this out there. This, this makes me happy. Mm. And so uh, I remember doing my first granny video. Granny wasn't, wasn't here. Okay. <laughs> Grant, I just did the voice. I've done the voice for years. My family knows, my friends know. So I've done the voice for years, but Granny never had a face. And so I was like, I'm just going to put Granny on screen and see what happens. And when I tell you, everybody cackled and laughed and was like, oh my gosh, she's just so unapologetically her. And mm -hmm. da -da -da -da, it reminds me of my Granny. And I was like, oh. But then I ran into the problem. was like, I don't want nobody to know me by Granny. You know, I was like, I want you to know me. And so, and so I was like, okay, that's fine. But I just kept nudging at it, nudging at it. I kind of ignored it at first, but then once, you know, it went viral, I was like, okay, this, this is it. Cause it was easy. It's easy for me. I can write a skit in my sleep mm -hmm. because it's, it's real life experiences. So I decided to take my time and put out the content and it just, God took it and boosted it and said, see, I told you people need this. And I was like, okay. So absolutely. And I like to say, you know, you know, I like that you said that people need this because sometimes when, you know, we have gifts and we think it's just for us, but it's not just yeah. for us. People need mm -hmm. us um, and we need ourselves. And so we're pushing ourselves out there. And while we're doing that, we are blessing the hearts of people. So I love that you said yeah. that, that people need us because we definitely need each other. So exactly. granny had a voice but mm -hmm. she didn't have like a face and so now yeah. granny has a face so tell us how you came um came about like thinking about what granny should look like um so <laughs> it's both of my grandmothers right so a lot of people don't know that both i have two different grannies that i play but mostly i play the granny that never cuts on the air right and so um what I did was I know the pink robe sticks. My granny has a robe. She actually, has, she has the exact same robe. And I was like, she doesn't really have, like, we never really see her clothes unless she's <laughs> out somewhere. And I was like, do I need to put on, like, of course I have clothes up under there, right? right. So, <laughs> but I was like, no one ever sees it. So I was just like, I just zipped that thing up. And like, I didn't, like, my hair was crazy at the time. I had took my braids down. And I was like, this is crazy. So I just put it in a ponytail, slapped my wig on and tied it up. And I was like, this looks crazy, but I'm just going to roll with it. Right. And I was just like, let me just go ahead and 
just do it. And I've ar- I already look like both of my grandparents and my just my family in general. I, I'm like a perfect split image of okay. my parents, right? Okay. So <laughs> like I was like, okay, I'm just about to do this. And Granny never has on clothes unless she's going out. Now, if she go out, she have on like a little track suit, or sometimes she might have on, you know. But she never really has on clothes. I was like, mm, this, this is did a this a do for now. I didn't feel like spending no more money. I was like, <laughs> I'm broke. At this point, I am broke. So I, I just decided improvise. to just put their, yeah, improvise. And you see the, the trash bags. These are grocery bags, y'all. Grocery bags. <laughs> That's what so, we use what we have, and it's I mean it's working, you know. It's the same yeah. way we're talking about kids, like you don't have to go out and buy a million toys. There's things at home no. that they can play with. And so when you improvise, you really do get what Absolutely. you need. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit because you know, when I was asking you how um you know how you started to create the content. Um, and we were kind of preparing for the show too. We started really talking, like you said, you just kind of like you know, you wouldn't step out there. So I wanted to ask you, so when we met to discuss the show, we talked about like fear and we talked about like how it can really discourage you from like following your dreams, following your heart. What would you tell someone that's thinking about like stepping out into the next, but they are scared, they're afraid? Uh, The things that you want most in life are on the other side of fear. Hmm. So once you conquer that fear, that next step is literally on the, the life of your dreams is literally on that the other side of fear. The more you step back and you're like, no, I'm not gonna do it. It's just like, okay, well, you, you're not gonna reach that full potential, whether it be content creating, braiding hair, making a cake, um, doing crafts, doing, you know, whatever you decide that you want to do in life, that that fear is keeping you back from the life that you desire to live. And you got to think about it. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. So that's, that that spirit of fear is not something that God put into us. So we have to we have to know that in our fear, God is like, OK, I got you. So at that point, you just have to you just have to jump over, you know, just have to jump over that fear. And when I did it, it was literally terrifying terrifying and i'm still terrified i'm nervous right now but (laughs) but it's just like you just have to do it it. and you know i'm glad that you said that you know i'm nervous right now and i have come Mm -hmm. to um come to the conclusion i was talking to my cousin this morning good morning kathy um i know she's on here but we were talking this morning and i said i'm nervous Right. And when I tell people that I'm nervous, they're always like, well, you do it all the time. You're always doing this. You've always had the gift of gab. You've always been talking in front of people. Why are you nervous? And I've come to the conclusion that I'm nervous is because it's something that I love. It's something that I'm good at. It's something that I'm passionate about. And I feel like when you're passionate about it, you're always going to be nervous. I'm not fearful, but I'm nervous. And it's because I know that it's what I'm supposed to be doing and you want it to be perfect and you want it to be impactful. And so every time you do it, you want it to get better. You want it to get better. And so it just, you know, it's like a tingling that kind of comes in your stomach. It's like, okay, you're in preparation for it. But I feel like that tingling is that push that says you feel this way because there's something in there and you have to birth it. Right. And so once you start doing it, then you start to feel better. And then the next time you do yes. it, it's time for you to burst something else. And so you're going to mm-hmm. get that same tingly feeling, but it's just part of the process. So I'm, you know, I'm glad that you said that because some people, they let fear and they let that nervousness just take over them and then they won't right. step out and do it. But you yeah. guys, when you feel that way, when you're a little nervous, that means you need to step out and you need to do it. Because like Ray said, it's something that's on the other side of that fear. So I love yeah. that you said that. Yeah. So listen. I'm glad you said something about birth. Mom, I'm sorry to cut you off. But no, my mom, ahead. you know, we, we are faith based. I'm faith based. OK. And my mom, she for years, I'm just saying this brief. She has been saying that there's a birthing and she just felt like she was pregnant. And I mean, my mom is 60, so she, she's not <laughs> pregnant. So, <laughs> so she just kept saying that birthing, she just felt like it was here, like the time was here. And I was, just, you know, I, at the time, I really didn't 
think it, but I'm just like, okay, you know, you know, I'm just kind of like pushing it off. Okay. Okay. Mom, I understand. But then the more that I kept doing content and it, she kept saying, it's like a birthing and it's like, you're ready to give birth. And I was just like, oh, so this could have been, I'm not sure, hundred percent sure, but this could have been what she was talking about. You know, when you step outside of that fear, you know, you, you go over that side and it's just like a birthing and it's, and it, let me tell you this, when it's in you and it's God given, it's going to keep knocking. It's going to keep knocking. And you're not going to be able to sleep. You, you're going to keep thinking about it day in and day out. And God going to keep doing it. And he going to keep knocking. You answer, will you answer that knock? Because the life that you're dreaming about in your mind, you just like, Lord, I know this is not for me. He's like, it's not. But will you listen when I'm knocking at your door? And will you answer the door? Like, you could probably hear, like, mm, I hear something. Yeah. But will you answer to give birth, to help people? You know, it's, anyways, <laughs> moving on. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> amazing because, you know, what happens is I, I always feel like we're all pregnant with something, right? But it's like, what do you do? Do you push, right? Um, and there's going to be some pain, right, in the push, but like you said, on the other side of fear, you know, it's something else. It's, you know, it's what you dreamed of. And even what we dream of is nothing compared to what God has for us because we're still dreaming small, right? Like right yes. now we're sitting in our homes, you know, in these little spaces, but that's part mm -hmm. of the process. And, Absolutely. you know, there's something bigger out there that God has for us, but he has to know that he can trust us with doing this in our bedrooms, in our living rooms, in our office space at home. And then we're going to grow. And so we're going to be out there. And yeah, people are going to know our name, but because we do have a relationship with God, we're going to be able to say that God did this because we know it's not something that we can do on our own. No. We're here at 948 in the morning on a Saturday and we have people who have come to listen to us. Yeah. And in the back of our minds, we could never have imagined that people would want no. to hear us. Right. But it's no. because it's God ordained and it's something that we were pregnant with. And this is the birthing process. Right. So it may be it's in its infancy. But just like when we birth babies, we have to grow up. And so Jaspirations Live, just right, our content, what we're doing, because people need us, is going to yeah. grow. So we're in this birth. 100% agree. So I want to ask you, too. Um, so you're, you're, um, you're very creative. You're a comedian. Mm -hmm. You are a content creator. But you're also a musician. Tell us about yes. that. something that we don't know about. Uh, I am a drummer and I've been playing drums since I was probably about, ooh, I don't know, like six, mm. maybe six or seven. And I play at my church mostly, but, um, I, then I went to school. I was in band. I did all that. I went to HBCU for the person that lives in Nashville. I did go to TSU. So I was a part of the aristocratic bands at TSU, go TSU, but I graduated from MTSU. So, um, I've been playing drums for a while. I am a drummer. Um, I can pick on the keys a little bit, but I am a, wholeheartedly, I love playing drums. That was my thing when I was younger. Like, I get in the prayer line, Jesus, I want to play the drums. Okay. Like, <laughs> you know, like, Jesus, please, I just want to play the drums. And I stuck with it and stuck with it and stuck with it. I wasn't good at first. Um, you know, of course, you mess up. You're in the infant mm -hmm. stage. So I messed up a lot. I cried a lot, got my feelings hurt a lot, but I kept at it. And so I guess that that's another part of the process that has helped me in that stage in my life. Now I'm in this stage and it's just like, I've cried a lot, I've failed a lot, I, but I'm still pushing to because I, I know that something else is going to come out of all of this. So As a man thinketh, so is he. You said to yourself, I am a drummer. Um, I am a drummer. I am a drummer. So we have, to, we have to, you know, we have to believe it. We have to see it before we see it. Like that just has exactly. to be what it is. We have to see it. So you have over 87,000 followers on the book. Okay. Yeah. You do. And you have <laughs> over 13,000 followers on the gram. Mm. Then you have about 2,000 plus on the tube, okay? So for mm, those of okay. you listening, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. 
Yes. Man, how did you feel when this happened? Like, and then it's a two part question. Like, how did you feel when this happened? And then what do you want to say to your followers? Because they trust us. They, you know, they want to tell us about that. Right, Ray Jean? I am hearing those numbers, right, Ray Jean? That's my, that's my camera woman. Numbers. <laughs> <laughs> that's my camera woman, my friend. But um, honestly, I I have no words because I did not, you know, we talked about it. I've, I've had meetings with, you know, someone that's helped me like write out goal. I was not a, like write out a goal person, right? I was just like, mm, it's in my mind. I got it. But no, you have to write it down. So when I was writing down these numbers, it was just like so far fetched. I have screenshots, y'all. So this is gonna be in a YouTube video, but I have <laughs> screenshots of like in January, just on TikTok, I was at 237 followers on TikTok. On my Instagram, my, like my personal Instagram, I had like a hundred followers, mm -hmm. right? And this is all just randomly. On Facebook, I had zero people. Like I would upload a reel and I would get like one or two likes, I would get like two, 10 views. That was like the most, mm -hmm. but, and it was, it was almost discouraging. So back in April, I was actually about to quit. Cause I was just like, it's not going anywhere. Like I had posted a couple of things cause I wasn't doing granny at the time, but I had posted a couple of things and it was just like, you know, cultural things like black people do this or, you know, doing this and doing that or taking out the trash. And so th those couple of things, like they, they took off and people laughed at it, but it would never keep them coming back. Right. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'm, I'm done. I was like, I don't know how to do this. This is too much. And so my camera woman actually went out of town and I needed a video. Right. And I was like, I just don't understand. And I was like, oh, I'm going to, cause my, the, the video that went viral, complete viral was a status that I posted years ago. And that status went viral. So I was like, hey, hey, y'all. I can see y'all comments. You see them. <laughs> hey, Sierra. Like what's what's shout out to folks. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Friends. We got to shout but, out people. Yeah, I love my friends, man. I love, I love all my people. But so the video, I was like, I need a video. And that, that status popped back up. I was like, I'm going to turn that status into a video. And so I sat on that video for two weeks because I was so scared and no one wanted to watch it, right? And that Friday I was I was sitting at work and I had it scheduled, just in case somebody on here, but I had it scheduled to post. <laughs> I had it scheduled to post and it posted. And I went to lunch and I had told my mom, I was like, Ma, this this video is at like 12,000. I was like, oh, that's cool. You know, I've gotten 12,000 before. Mm -hmm. But when I came home, it was like 50,000. I was like, oh, okay, maybe it's just going viral. So I had went to a friend's house and I was like, look, this video is starting to like take off. So that next, I had said, and I told my camera woman, I was like, uh, I want to hit 10K by the time I wake up. By the time I woke up on that Saturday morning, I was at 10K. So I went to her funeral. I told my granny about it. And then like, it just... When I tell you everything at that time blew up, I posted the, the video on Facebook. I posted it and everything just said, okay, this is time. And it rose because I, I was done. I was done. Oh. And I just want to say to my followers, thank you guys. My my fans, supporters, whatever you want to call your family. Y'all are family at this point. We cousins, TT, whatever. I thank y'all because I was really about to quit. And, and it's just... Like I said, hearing the numbers saying that I'm at 87,000 people, I was not at 87,000 people just three months ago. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And it's not the, and it's not overnight. It was not an overnight. Product. I've been creating content for like constant content, posting it for two years. And the process. It's, it's the a process. process. And you get discouraged. You want to quit. And a lot of times people do quit and they, they just like, ah, this is just a fluke. You just have to be in that place you no, you really have to find your niche you have to hold them in and if it's something that god put in you and you're not just doing it just for fame and money and stuff like that it'll grow it'll take time but it'll grow so i just want to say thank y'all because y'all i believe y'all are going to change my life and hopefully in the process i change you guys life as well so 
And I love that you said that. So we do something here on Jayspirations Live called Fill Up Fridays Live. So every Friday, eight o'clock, we go live and we talk about what did we fill up on, you know, throughout the week. And um, I was telling them yesterday that um, earlier this week, I got to a point where I was thinking, you know, like some other people that, you know, that orators and do some things that I do. I'm like, I feel like their followers are just, you know, growing so much and they're growing so fast. And I had been thinking about it. I was like, you know, maybe I'll, I know I want to do this, but I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be doing it. Right? right. And I got in the shower and I had my shower moment because that's where I go and I reflect. And God simply told me that success is something that can come and go. But when we're doing something that's connected to our destiny, like that's forever, right? Because you do have these people that, you know, of course we all want to be successful, but success could be a day. It could be an hour, you know, a store could have a successful lunch hour, right? And tomorrow yeah. they may not sell anything. But what we're doing is we're thanking God for our destiny because our destiny is forever when we're walking in to what he's calling us. So I'm so glad that you didn't give up because when I saw your video, like I said, it took me back down memory lane and I'm I'm 46 and it started taking me back to, you know, when I was 10 and 11 and 12 um, and things right. that my aunt and my mom and my grandmother, you know, used to do. And I just laugh because everybody has a granny. You know, whether it's an auntie or a mom or but everybody has a granny and it kind of in times like this, when there's so many things that's pushing us apart, mm -hmm. I feel like your content brings us together. It's just not just right. one group of people that's watching Ray. You know, right. when you go on your page, it's, it's multicultural, it's diverse people, it's bringing people together. So you're doing exactly that. what you're supposed to be doing. I, I love that. I love being diverse. That's my whole thing. Love, diversity, international. That's that's my thing. I I love it. I I love it. Absolutely. I love it. So I want to thank you so much for coming by today um, and giving us the opportunity to get to know Ray, you know, the person mm -hmm. behind Granny, the person behind Mama. And I'm thankful that you were obedient and I'm thankful that you did not quit. And we cannot wait to see where you go next. It's definitely going to be beyond Facebook, beyond Instagram, TikTok, right. you know, YouTube. We're going to be excited to see, you know, your face on <clears throat> flyers and billboards and really? selling out auditoriums because that's what it is. It's positive content and that is what we need and we have to support right. each other. So I'm going to be excited to say that she was just right was on the Jaspirations live show, yes. you know, and my first that. show. And so really your first show. And so I am I am so honored that you're here today. And thank you so much for accepting this invitation. It means a lot to us. Uh, it means a lot to my followers, a lot to your followers, because you guys, we got to support. So you guys jump on Instagram, Facebook, um, TikTok, YouTube, and make sure that you guys are following her. A young woman out here, um, you know, being positive and putting positivity out into the environment. So we appreciate you so, so much. And thank you so much for stopping by. Of course. But listen, you guys, I don't want you to go anywhere because guess what? <laughs> Granny's about to come through. <laughs> Granny is about to come through. <laughs> Granny is about to come through. So you guys know we can't rush Granny. Granny does everything in her own time. So we're going to give of Granny course. time to come through. Um, and um, when she comes back, we're going to talk to her. So Great. we give Granny a, just a little bit of time. Hey, y'all. I just want to say hey before I go because, you know, go Granny. Ahead. Let shout me, out to people Granny. before you go. I just, you know, shout out to God, first of all, who's the head of my life. <laughs> shout out to my friends because I saw some of their comments. Uh, Regine, Candy, Sierra. Uh, if I miss your name, I'm sorry. I'm trying to scroll these comments, but thank y'all so much. If you're on here and you haven't commented, I'm pretty sure it's going to be some other people. CJ, Nee, uh, Shara, Jen, uh, Kelsey. Uh, I love all y'all. Jalen, I love all y'all because they, they have helped me even in my early stages when I was just doing random videos, okay? So I just want to say I love y'all. Thank y'all. And uh, I think, what is, girl, it's all right. It's all right. It's hot in here, Granny. 
let me let me go before I get beat up. I'll be back, y'all. I'll see y'all in right. a minute. You guys, you are tuned in to the Jace Moratius live show. We've been talking to content creator Ray. Thank you all so much for joining us this morning as we get ready for our second guest because Granny is about to be in the house. I want you guys to go ahead and start to drop in some of your favorite childhood memories. Um, some things that just watching the videos have brought back to your memory or to, you know, to your mind of things that you remember from when you were a child. I know one of my things is when I started watching Ray, I started thinking about how my auntie, my aunt Nan, when the we would have storms, she would make us all sit down in one space. It would be like me and a bunch of my cousins and we would have to sit in one spot until the Lord finished doing his work, right? So the lights would be off, the TV would be off, like we couldn't say anything, we couldn't do anything, we just had to sit there and wait. And so that is one of my childhood memories that came back when I started watching Just Ray. Um, Because I was like, goodness, like, that's not my granny, but that's my auntie. Like, that's something that my auntie would do. And so um, just start to drop some of those memories into the comments. And you guys, you know, we are excited about talking to granny. So when granny comes in, we have a lot of questions that we're going to be asking granny. We, I'm going to try to get y'all some answers to those childhood questions that we've been having forever that nobody has answered. So hopefully Granny will answer them for us today. We also want to talk to Granny about some current events because, y'all, we want to know what Granny is thinking about, like all these things that's happening out here in the world. It's a lot going on right now, and we're going to ask Granny like what she thinks about it. And if you have questions for Granny as well, you can go ahead and drop them into the comments. I'll do my very best to um, watch the comments and make sure that we can get some of those questions answered. Also, if you have not shared this video, please share the video. Um, Ray is hilarious. She's out here doing positive things. And we want to make sure that everybody fills up on some laughter this morning. So make sure that you are sharing. Also, if you're new to Jaspirations, please like and share. I would love for you to come on to listen to some of our content as we're always sharing motivational information. And of course, I was talking about Fill Up Friday. We love it, love it, love it. Um, gives us the opportunity to encourage each other and just kind of relax um, and release after a busy week. Are y'all ready for Granny? If you're ready for Granny, give us some likes, give us some hearts, because Granny is going to be here in just a few minutes. But you guys know that Granny does things on her own time, and Granny feels all right. Still waiting for you guys to drop some of those memories into the comments. I know that's part of why you actually follow Just Ray, because it does take you back to your childhood. It does take you back to um you know back down memory lane also do y'all you guys have anything cool in your cups this morning because y'all know granny's not gonna turn on that ac and it's probably gonna get pretty hot in here if you don't have something cool to drink go ahead and grab your little cool paper towel as well so you can make sure you can cut cut, cut 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 that cut that cut that off cut that wait, off wait a minute you need to cut all that wait off wait a minute granny's here who is this? Hey, Granny. Good morning. Why y'all in my house so early in the morning? Well, Granny, listen. This is Mrs. J. Spire from J. Spirations Live. And uh -huh. I just want to talk to you about some things this morning. We have some things that we, some questions that we have not been able to get answered since our childhood. And, and we just want to see if you can give us a little bit of information. Why you in my house? early this morning this, you know this is my time with the lord i i i, I don't i don't i don't i don't talk to folks this early i'm sorry babe what you say granny listen uh -huh. this is mrs j spire i'm with j spirations live i'm sorry you didn't hear me the first time but the people and myself we have some questions we really just want to ask you it's just some things some answers we've been trying to get since our childhood and i just uh -huh. you know i just i just think it's time for us to get some answers all right baby what 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 what, what questions you got for me this morning 
Well, Granny, the first thing that the people really want to know, we want to uh -huh. know, um, we want to know why Grannies don't like to turn the AC on. Huh? Well, why, why you need it on? Well, Granny, you know, it's summertime and it's oh, hot outside. I don't, don't want to hear that either. Huh? <laughs> Granny, why you got her on this thing talking to me like this? Granny, baby. We Back in my, we didn't have all this, the lights and 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 we didn't we didn't have all that back in my day, so I we you really don't need it. Y'all just don't y'all just y'all y'all just don't get entitled and and stuff and everything. See, and 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 if I'm being honest with you, I be feeling all right. It be too cool to be y'all be seventy five. It's just fine, but you put it on sixty, I'm I'm gonna cry, huh? My utility bill be raising. It be it's fifty dollars, sixty dollars, seventy dollars. Nobody got time for all that mess. Who got that money? I ain't got money to be giving to these folks. Granny, y'all got money stashed everywhere. I think it's a no, no, to, uh -uh. you know, to keep it kind of cool because Granny, this the thing too, right? Like, and no disrespect, but you know, sometimes y'all won't turn it on, but then when you turn mm -hmm. it on, it's on like freezer. So it's either hot or it's cold. It's nothing in between. Well, you see, you can't satisfy the people. Y'all always unsatisfied. It's hot and it's cold. It's going to be all right. Y'all ain't finna run my utilities up. I don't know why y'all Why y'all think I got all this money. Huh? I I, I don't work for mine now. And, 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 and I ain't trying to give it to nobody else. <laughs> I ain't trying to give it to nobody else because I, I ain't got no time. Who is what is all this stuff fluting and flying? What is our granny's always chewing her 32 times, filling her mouth again? I, I don't chew my food no 32. I get all my teeth. <laughs> I get, <laughs> I got them all. You missing some teeth? But, I got but, all mine. It is somebody who agrees with you and says that granny's saving money and she knows them kids running in and out of the house. Period. So is that the truth? Is that why we can't get uh -huh. no AC? Absolutely. Y'all stay running in and out, ripping and running back and forth and letting flies in. And, and, and you, you're just doing too much. You're doing too much. And you sit down somewhere, you'll be all right. If you stop moving, stop talking, you sit down. It won't, it won't, it won't be, it won't, it won't, it won't, it won't show won't. It won't be so hot. But Granny, uh -huh. we still just trying to figure out like the cool paper towel. Like, how is that keeping you cool? I mean, it's like it's it's ninety it's ninety degrees outside and it's a hundred degrees in your house. That's all right. It it don't be a hundred degrees either. I don't know where you get them numbers from. Granny, it it's been pretty hot this summer. Like the I don't know what's going on, but it, I mean I mean it's been pretty pretty warm pretty warm out there. But I, that's out there. It ain't in here. It, it I be feeling all right. It ain't, it ain't it ain't too much and it is see this right here this this is what really keep me cool huh and i got a little water right here with with the coffee mug and 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 and, and, and it, it don't bother me at all one bit don't bother me at all it it if, if you sit down if you be still take some you know y'all be wearing them sweaters and hoodies and stuff and everything you take them hoodies off you're gonna be all right i ain't never seen a generation of kids wear hoodies in the summertime that's what that, that that's for the win. I ain't I ain't, I ain't that in all my days. In all my all my days. I ain't never seen nothing like it. Show lane. So Granny, what are you folks on here? Granny, because we got questions that we need to be answered. Granny, what's up with the plastic furniture covers? Well, look at your couch and then come and look at mine. <laughs> <It's, laughs> I've been having my couch and my, my my babies was 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 babies, huh? And the cat look good. Y'all come over here trying to bounce on the couch, be spilling stuff. I need to preserve my couches now. I really? just gotta preserve. Granny, you don't have it on your couch. I mean, why we gotta suffer like that? Why 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 we gotta do that? Uh what what you mean? It ain't no suffering. That's me preserving my couches. If you don't like it, you can go you can go on, go on back down to your mama's house. Well, Granny, why you always got to put us out? Like, sometimes we just want to spend some time with you, but we want to be comfortable. We want to be cool. Yeah, comfortable and cool. You sit there, you sit on that plastic. You be still, you'll be all right. I don't understand what, what you, read, write, and arithmetic. That's what it is, and it's common. It's common sense. You know, you, you sit down, you be quiet, stop talking so much, and, 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 and what you do, see? You see that? See that fly right there? That's because, you see that? You shut that door. 
it don't wide open. Can't be running through here, right? Grandmama, no. Be still. You be still. You get on that plastic. Like I told you, man. Sometimes I, and I ain't, I ain't all bad. Okay. Sometimes what I do, I, I let them get a little air for twenty minutes, and then I, 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 I take. Sometimes I take that plastic out when I have some company. Uh, sometime now, but when everybody come over here, I gotta keep it on it because they don't. They act like they don't know how to act. Then okay. uh, you know if when you turn the AC up and down, that's what's making your your bill go up. If we just put it on about seventy four and just keep it the room cool, then you know. And you know, we, what what seventy four doing? Seventy four ain't doing nothing. It's gonna keep it just a little cool. And grandma, we we grown now. We can help you with your electric bill. I I ain't seen no help yet. We can I ain't seen no help. Food. I ain't seen no help yet. I got a I got a bill coming in here now. She don't she don't she get she got she she got this air on right now, and it is one hundred and twenty nine dollars. Who gonna pay that? <laughs> Baby, they can cut it off. <laughs> then what you go? What you, <laughs> what they gonna say then? They can come cut it off. Sure so can. Uh huh. Uh, to, they can come cut it off. Cause I who gonna pay for it? I ain't I ain't had no help with no bill yet. And 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 yeah, grandma, but you got some. Don't worry about what I got. Don't come over and, and flicker with my lights and, and stuff. Be oh, you see this? They got she got lights all up in here. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I thought I was walking to the Steve Harvey morning show. <laughs> Not the Steve Harvey, grandma. You, granny, you be listening to Steve Harvey? Yeah, I like that Steve. He 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 he. Yeah, I like him. He he be talking about some stuff. Well, while we on the subject, then grandma, what you think about those strawberry letters? What's 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 strawberry letters? I don't, I don't even listen to what's that? That sounds like something free. But you know, that's the lady, her name is Cheryl, and she's on the Steve Harvey show. And these folks, you know, write in with all these crazy situations, and they're uh -huh. asking, you know, they're asking her for advice. What you think about some of those letters that come yeah, to you? <laughs> crazy? They crazy just want some attention. Some of the folks probably eat lying. And with them letters, they don't be happening there for real. Do y'all think they be having? I don't, yeah, I don't know. I can't really say. I, I decided I was gonna write a letter the other day about 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 all this stuff that be up in my house, uh, uh, lights and and all this other stuff. But you know, I, I, I decided not to put it on blast like that. I leave my granddaughter alone. Hey, baby, how you doing? Well, you know, just. Oh. <laughs> to, the this? parents said that they be lying. That they be lying. They be lying. Strawberry. strawberry they, don't they? Don't they? Uh, don't they? Uh, uh, what boy? How I pronounce your name? You got too many letters. Traveris. Huh? Traveris. Tra 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 you got your name long. My God. Uh huh. You know well, what? We're talking about those long names. I wanted to ask you. Grannies are so honest. You know, and mm -hmm. we don't. You know, sometimes we don't worry about the honesty, but sometimes those things that you tell us, sometimes that stuff hurt our feelings. Can you? Is there a way to like, like tone it down just a little bit? Give us a little oh, bit, yeah. but like, oh, uh, uh, I ain't, I ain't, I don't want to hear that either. You, you build some tough skin. The word ain't. The, the, uh, you rather hear from me? You rather hear from somebody out there on the street? Huh? You know, I mean, Grandma. Sometimes we just, you know, we just want to know that you that you love us. We just don't want you to be so hard on us all the time. I love you. I love. I cook. I I I I'll be, I'll be cooking. Tell y'all, come on over here, get you something to eat. Thanksgiving, Christmas, uh, slide you a little some. I love you, but I'm gonna tell you. I ain't gonna lie to you, babe. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Uh huh. You know, and Granny, you know, that's another thing I think we wanted to ask from our childhood, like. You know, y'all always cooking, but y'all so quick to tell us that we gaining weight. Like, uh huh. Well, you know, you got to eat in moderation. What y'all don't know how to do is put that fork down, huh? You eat one, 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 one little, little side portion, huh? And then you need to get on out there and, and probably walk a little bit. But y'all be eating cookies. And 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 I, I mean I like I like the I like to cook for my family, give them a little cake, a little punch bowl, something, and, and a couple of stuff and everything, you know, some some greens and I like to do all that, but you know, you still gotta you still you still gotta keep yourself up. Now mm -hmm. you don't get you don't get fat off of that. Y'all be going to Chick-fil-A and <laughs> baby, I ain't never seen so the line so wrapped in Chick-fil-A that I'm I'm, I'm trying to get to the funeral. And and when I get to the when I'm trying to get to the funeral, we we driving in a funeral line. And Chick Fil A line don't backed up with the fuel line. I ain't never. I ain't. 
I know it's the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord's house. I understand that. But 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 y'all y'all Chick Fil A and McDonald's and 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 y'all going to eat fancy restaurants and you eat two three times a day. Oh, I just need some sweet. Some sweet is what got you in this <laughs> that situation that you in. Uh huh. Who is this talking? No, because the I ain't got to cook in no lot of races. I ain't got to cook in no. But who is this talking small? I it's think you want to raise friends. You do. You be talking smart. What you talking about? Huh? I ain't got to cook in no moderations. I cook. I, mean, for, I, I, I cook. I cook. I cook for everybody. Somebody homeless walk down the street. I give them a little plate. So, you know. Yeah, but like yeah. you know, your grandchildren. We come over there, and you got pound cake. You got banana pudding. Uh -huh. Then you got fried chicken, and you got uh -huh. you know brown beans and potato salad. Like uh -huh. you got all those things, and we don't get that all the time. So when we come. Like it's hard for us to eat in moderation, but you know, you're cooking, you're saying, Baby, come on to the table, and then uh -huh. the whole time, you know, you're saying, Show is putting some weight on back there, baby. Your, your butt yeah. show is getting big, and uh huh, you know, sometimes it just it, it hurts our feelings just a little bit. What you want me to lie to you? No, but you know, can can we talk about it later? Can we talk about it like after dinner is over? Can we talk about it the uh -huh. next time we come over? Um, <laughs> the next time you coming over, you coming over to eat. <laughs> Y'all don't come over my my house all the time. No, not uh, except for Ray. You know she come down here all the time begging five dollars twenty dollars. Grandma, what you doing? June bug being here running around. So 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 they get they get some some food, but y'all don't get my food number like once or twice a year. So that once or twice a year ain't blowing you up. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's something else that's happening down there, huh? So I just try to, you know, because I know y'all need that home cooking, good cook meal, hot, steaming, and, and stuff and everything. But y'all want everything quick. Fast food. That's, I ain't never. That, don't get me started, huh? But I, I, I try to be nice. I try to be nice. I just, I won't tell you gain the heat, but wait, I'm just telling you, you need to slow down a little bit. How's that? Well, I just, you know what, that's, we just want you, you know, we want you, we want you to still cook and we want you to tell us the truth, but you know, we just want you to tell us just a little bit in love. We just want to, we just want to know. And you know, we so busy, you know, nowadays, you know, we got children, we got spouses, we got jobs. So sometimes. I had that too. I, what, what, that ain't nothing new. I had that too. I had kids. Y'all got one too. I had 13. Had See, to feed all of them, had a husband. Had to go to work, work at eight to five, get off work, cook for my husband, cook for my kids, make sure they school stuff taken care of, get them in bed by eight o'clock, make sure they taking a bath. They had to use the same water though, and and and, <laughs> and, 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 and yeah, uh, the girls use the same water in the boy. We gotta preserve. We ain't gonna be running no water. What you what, what what's what's this, huh? We're going you to get in there and you you get in the bathtub. We don't got no AC and we hot, then we're gonna need some uh -uh. gas throughout uh -uh. the day. Yeah, we're gonna we, I, I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind doing all that. You know, we ain't nasty folk. I don't mind getting y'all it, but y'all gonna use the same water. Huh? The girls use the same water and the boys use the same water. Then y'all get done, y'all get back there, shut up now. And you cut off everything and cut off the electricity and stuff. You need to look, open your window. Ain't nobody gonna come through here. Huh? Ain't nobody who who is all this talking? Nothing change, changed, Granny. Well, it's a lot of people on here, so um don't worry, hold up. Don't worry about me busting it open. We have my 13 kids. Granny says she got a husband. But listen, Granny, I wanted to ask you about this because this <laughs> is something because uh my mama used to do it all the time too, and I never quite um I never quite understood it. You know, you said that you know you're going to a funeral. <laughs> Do y'all know everybody that y'all going to this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I know some of their people, and 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 you know it's all about respect, you know. Because th th let me tell you, and, and it's it's not the old people. We ain't dying. It's the youngins, huh? So so I be knowing they grandmamas, they te aunties and stuff. So I go and so support to the family. Sometimes 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 I just go to go because you know sometimes I don't feel like cooking. And uh, you know they gonna get you a hot meal. And they ain't gonna deny Granny. <laughs> Ooh we baby, they ain't gonna they ain't gonna deny me. They ain't so, gonna deny me. So Granny, that's part of the secret. Some of some of y'all Grannies uh, don't know the people, but y'all going so y'all don't have to cook. Y'all going for the repast. Yeah, yeah that too. And you know, some well, sometimes when you go, 
you see some people that you actually know. Uh huh. So when you go, you see me. That's that's a good fellowship. They keep me going, and they be like, "Girl, I ain't see you." I be like, "I know." And they be like, "Uh," and I be trying to introduce everybody and and show everybody what's going on. But you know, this is a small, tight knit community. So 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 we all we basically just grew up together. And some of them I know. Some of them they people don't went on the glory. Some of them maybe not in glory. They they, they just at the the gates and the, the Lord the Lord ain't letting me. So, you know, uh, <laughs> I just, you know, we just go and, and, and talk. To, what is all these comments flying? Well, because people, you know, people want to know, but I want to know. Yeah. One of the questions I wanted to ask, too, is do you get mad when you don't get a program at the funeral? I, yeah, I always get a program. I just I just say, give me a program. That's all I need. I don't know, I, I, give me a pro. Can I get a program? And see, let me tell you, see, I got the secret juice. <laughs> My 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 family. Don't y'all tell nobody. Don't put this on there, okay? I my family. They 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 own a funeral home, <laughs> so I I I get the obituaries. I get the bitch. Oh yeah, uh huh. They be like, I ain't got nothing but a few. I got a whole bunch of them. Go and give me one of them obituaries. Cause you got the hook up. Granny I got, got the hook up on the obituaries. What's that song? Uh, Ray. What's that song? Uh. -huh. Yeah, how, I got the hook up. Holly, if you hear me, um. Who we chat? Who was that in comments? Granny, what you know about that uh, that new school rap? We got the hook I, up. I don't know nothing, baby. I just know y'all be twirling y'all tail everywhere, be stinking and funky, and 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 you need to be praising the Lord. Y'all don't even dance for the Lord, but you out here twerking for the devil. I don't understand. It. Well, some of these Working. comments on here, um, Don says that when y'all go to those funerals, y'all like professional mourners. So y'all just yeah. go to funerals. Some, sometimes, like, you know, a couple of tears. Just, what What you mean professional mourners? We ain't, like, I, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I'll be feeling sad for real. Because, I mean, but sometimes I'll be happy. Because, you know, they, they, well, I don't know if they went on the glory or not. Everybody ain't going to make it. <laughs> I just wait. <laughs> Everybody ain't gonna make it, baby. And that's just the reality of it. So sometimes I be sad because they they might not make it. Sometimes I be happy and just tears of dear, joy because I know they're going on the glory. Uh huh. Yeah. So Rhonda Rhonda wants to know, um, do you get the view the bodies first? Yeah, absolutely. I go down to the funeral home when the family having eight. You know, I go down there and just you know walk around and see if I know these people and. And, and 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 you know, sometimes the family like, you know, you coming to the funeral, and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to the funeral, honey. I'm getting my granddaughter to drive me down there, and and you know, so sometimes I get to view the body before anybody, you mm. know. And I and then when I when I see him, I be like, that ain't right. They 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 don't look right. They don't and, look and like so, themselves. Yeah, they don't, babe. I woo we. You supposed to be pretty when you go in the glory, but uh, you know, I view that body. So yeah, I viewed, viewed about it before the funeral, and you you know, I just you know, I can't tell you all my secrets now. Well, you know, it's just some, it's some questions that we just been, um, you know, we just been trying to get the answers to since we were children. Um, I want to ask, and Granny, don't get me for this because some of us we just really want to know. We want to know why y'all <clears throat> play y'all music so loud and early on Sunday mornings, like. Why y'all get up? Why y'all get up so early? And just but, cause you need to get up. You're sleeping your life away. Y'all y'all stay up to, to, to 10, 11, 12 o'clock. And then you can't get up. You sleep until four o'clock in the afternoon. Your life is gone. You gotta get on up. It's a new day. The Lord gave me another day to see. So I'm gonna get up. Uh I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna play my music, get my glory to God. If you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you, baby. Because I'm gonna play it. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna play it. Me and the Lord got a special relationship. Well, you know, and the other thing is like because y'all get up <laughs> really, really early, and uh -huh. then y'all take these naps all day on the uh -huh. sofa. But, but when we ask you if you sleep, you always deny it. So what? Because I don't be sleep. I be talking to the Lord. I don't. I don't. I don't nap. Uh. Uh. I just. I had to close my eyes and <laughs> and, <laughs> and meditate. You know, on the goodness of the Lord, and sometimes the God talked to me for a long time, so it looked like I'm sleeping, but I don't be sleeping. But uh, Granny, uh, y'all uh, be snoring, y'all be drooling. Uh, no, I don't believe that either. You just now, now you just lie. Now you, who is this? 
do you view the body first? Oh, uh, she are, we are gonna act, answer that question, honey. It's but, so uh, uh, people, Randy, they want to know. They just they just want to know. Well, uh, mm-hmm. I I really I, sometimes I take a nap. You know, sometimes I'll be tired from ripping and running and you know getting everything, getting my house together, cleaning and stuff. But a lot of times I'll be talking to the Lord, huh? A lot of times I'll be talking to the Lord. So I I, I just I just I just you know that's just me. That's just me. I I, I, I don't can't speak for nobody else though. Me and the Lord got a good conversation going. All right. Well, speaking of conversations, I've noticed growing up that when we tell y'all something. <clears throat> Um, I don't, I don't want to be disrespectful when I say this, but Granny, when we tell y'all something, like we overhear y'all on the phone telling everybody else, like, uh, well, well, why, why y'all gotta tell all the business? Everything already out there. If it don't, get, if it don't get out there by me, Grandma, but don't tell nobody. Grandma, who? Grandma, but don't tell who? Well, Grandma, we don't, Granny, we don't want you to tell. Them. Sometimes we just want to come. We want to talk to y'all. We want to get a little bit of yeah. advice, get some well, wisdom. And we, we don't want the whole family to know. Yeah, but if you're running from the police, you're going outside. <laughs> if you're running from the police, you're going outside. But I, I, I'm not going. I'm not. I'm not going to tell. Every, you know, I can't tell. I don't. I don't. I don't tell everything. I tell some of the stuff. The stuff that people need to know so they can pray. But 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 I but I I try not to tell everything, huh? Because because you know people 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 sometimes be plotting and they be oh that's what she get you know I I try not to do that to my grandbabies and my children and great grandbabies and nieces and I try not to do that. But if <laughs> if you running from the police, you going outside and I'm gonna let everybody know. Grandma, you tell all of Junebug's business though. Junebug, June, Junebug, Junebug, Junebug. He he need the Lord. So I'm gonna tell him business because the more that they know, he ain't gonna be out the door, huh? Huh? He they need to know everything. June, but the other day, grump gonna come over here. Grandmama, them they 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 say they dumb fool. What you been doing? If you ain't been saying and you ain't been out here doing stuff and that you ain't supposed to be doing, taking care of your kids, you'll be all right. But I I I I, I told him I told him he said right. I'm talking about he said right here. He said right here, and I told him I said if you get in trouble again. I, grandmama can't help. Grandmama can't help. I ain't, I no. You better call your mama, and she she gonna call me, and I'm gonna say I I I don't told him. I I told him to sit his tail down somewhere, but he didn't want to sit down. So when the police come in here knocking at my door, he going outside, huh? Cause I I I can't be. Hey, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Uh, what what? And in the bed, in the bed, in the bed, in the aid, and aid, whatever that stuff. Yeah, I can't, I can't. No, you know what they go? Granny. Yeah, I ain't you never know. been to jail, and I want to go in my in my late years. Who is that? What is all this? June, yeah, June bug, stay seen it. He stay seen it. Got these girls coming over here, girl. I put that on my. No, don't put that on me. Tell me they put that on my grandma. I ain't been. I seen the girl running through here the other day. Didn't know who she was. One none of my grandbabies. Great nothing. Just some random girl that June bugged and brought home. Yeah, ain't I put that on my grandma? But when nobody, no, don't put that on me. You well, better put it on yourself. Uh, Peggy wants to know um, why the kids got to go to bed during the thunderstorm. Because they they run around. They wanna they wanna they wanna get outside. They wanna watch TV. They want the iPad. They 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 want all this stuff. Cut all this stuff off and let the Lord do His work. Get in the bed and be still. You be in the bed, I know where you at. See? See, if something happened, I know you in that bed. But if something happened and you ain't in that bed, <coughs> I told you to get in that bed. And you, 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 you want to be hard-headed, you get outside, and then something happened, you be like, well, grandmama told me to get, I sure did. I told you to get in the bed, but you didn't get in the bed. Who, what's all these questions? The people got the questions. Don wants to know, what do you tell the girls that like Junebug? Because you know he not out there doing right, so. What he you- ain't no count. He ain't no count. He ain't no count. He ain't no. He ain't. He ain't. He ain't no count. He ain't no count. But that's my. That's my grandbaby. He got him. He got. He. 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 He got him. But you know he ain't. I try. I try not to really get him folk business like that. I just let them see for themselves. <laughs> Cause Junebug, Junebug ain't worth two quarters, two dimes, niggas put together. Put together. Do you ever slide Junebug any money? 
Yeah, I, I'm guilty of it, baby. I, I slide them all a couple of dollars. I try, I try to stay out, but you know, sometimes I feel the Lord led me to give them about five, ten dollars. Uh huh. And I fold it up and give it because you know everybody be in your business, especially when it be everybody be around. I'll be like, come on over here, and I just fold it up and slide it to him. <laughs> Uh -huh. so, now, I don't know if this is true, but Sierra says, but y'all be washing dishes and running that washer when it's storming. Is that true? No, huh? No, uh uh. I don't know what she talked about either. But I got a relationship with the Lord, so I know the Lord ain't gonna give me for, for doing it. What I don't know, I don't know none of that. You be washing dishes yeah. and running that washer dry when it's storm. Don't worry about it. So Candy want to know, Candy want to know, do you um why do y'all open all the doors and the windows when it's raining? Just in case one of them uh natives come through. We got to see, we got to know what's going on. Half the time I'll be asleep, baby. So let me <laughs> let me tell y'all so, so, some 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 of y'all may know, some of y'all may not, but if it's dark, I still want to see, but the one time a tornado came through and tore up this side of town where we live at. And I was in the bed sleep. Didn't nothing happen to me. <laughs> Didn't nothing happen to my house, baby. I slept through the whole thing, baby. I, I woke up and I'm trying to figure out what well, folks in my house where grandma we it was a it was one of them them, them natives outside. They, 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 they don't tow up everything, power line down. I was like, my God, they don't did what? And I don't sleep. I don't sleep through the whole thing. But if it's during the day, I want to see. You want to be so I can sleep. go on and know and take cover and and see was and then call my people and check up on them and see what, what's going on in their side of town. See, because sometimes it be raining here, don't be raining there. But I just want to make sure that they safe just in case one of them natives come on through. What's going on? Um, Am I getting ready? Yeah, I got to celebrate race. Uh, what's your name, babe? I can't see. My God. Well, so, I'm, so, so, mm -hmm. Yeah, I got to I'm, I'm put some on the grid. You know, Ray got monetized on that YouTube and and. and and she she been doing well. She still ain't sold them five hundred shirts, but uh, <laughs> but uh, she yeah, I'm putting a list. It won't be merch at all. So um, see, Al also yeah. said, did y'all really cook pies by putting them on the window sill back in the day? Not putting them on the window sill. Uh uh, go on that break. Don't you to cut that down, man. Cut it down. It's it's bleed. I got I, it's hurting my ears. Y'all, y'all want y'all friends? Huh? No, I don't know what's going on back here. This, she got a bunch of noise. Get y'all better come and get Ray if I had to lay out. But, but <laughs> yeah, we you we used to cook them pies and we used to put them in the window. And the reason why, see, the pies used to be so hot, huh? And then a lot of times, see, back in the day, we had them 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 them, them real apples and them. Real blueberries and stuff. Cause I, I got we got a we had a farm and an orchard out here. So we had fruits and stuff and everything everywhere. So they smell real good. It was natural preservatives and stuff. Now y'all got that artificial stuff. That's why y'all gaining their weight. But <laughs> but uh we had the real stuff. So when I put it on the window seal, let it cool off, but the smell go out. So the kids know, oh grandma, but mama don't cook some, and they come on in the house and get a piece of that pot. Sure do. Uh, uh, I think that, yeah, you know, this is just something that we did. You ain't really no answers to everything, you know, but uh, it's just something that we did. Uh huh. So it's another question that the people got for you, Granny, but then I got some other stuff that I want to ask you. Just just trying uh -huh. to get all the answers. So Rhonda want to know, why do y'all cover the mirrors and unplug everything when the weather Spirits. comes up? Spirits. Spirits come through the, the, through the mirrors. But we unplug everything because we don't want to get electrocuted. Have you ever been electrocuted, Rhonda? No, no, you don't want to be electrocuted because when the, the lightning come down, it, it you probably going to die. Mm. And so we cut off everything so it ain't no no power. Get off that phone. Get, take take all that stuff out because, you know, a piece of lightning strike, you know, it's in a boat. You know, it, it go like that. It ain't just one lightning strike. It's multiple. Grandma and so we don't want to get hit. Granny is spitting knowledge. Y'all make sure y'all. Yeah, we don't want to get hit. You want to get hit? I don't want to get hit. So I turn off everything. Let the Lord do His work. He's doing something. I don't know what He's doing. He could be reconstructing, tornado, and turning stuff down to build stuff back up. So we 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 uh we got to get that and all that stuff taken care of. Uh huh. Well, listen, Granny, it's some um. 
this ain't no back in the day stuff. You you answered a whole lot of our questions, but it's some stuff uh-huh. that's going on right now. Um, that I kind of want to get your opinion about. I just kind of want to see, you know, what you're thinking about, get some of your knowledge, your your opinions. So it's been a whole lot of talk <laughs> recently about um whether or not people should be tithing at the church house. Well. <laughs> You know, people, it's new. Y'all, y'all come up with stuff every single day. I just don't understand this generation. They, they. If you don't want to tie, don't tie. Your house gonna be cursed. It's, mm. it's what it said in the word. If you don't want to tie, just don't tie. But I, I, I say this to say this too. A lot of people tithe in different ways. You know, sometimes they give to 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 someone that may be in need. A lot, you know, and 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 here's my thing: you give what you can. If you ain't got ten percent, you ain't working. You give what you can. If you can give, you give. I ain't I ain't judging, but the word the word the word the word said the Lord's supposed to get the first fruit. So as soon as you get paid, and it ain't it ain't it ain't none of that. If I got I got ten dollars left, I guess I put now it needs to be the first fruit. You see what I'm saying? But 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 that tithe and 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 that offering, you know, you just basically you sowing seeds, but you're giving back what the Lord I already gave to you anyway. He ain't asking for number 10%. 10% of a hundred that you you still got 90% right here in your hand, but you don't want to get 10%. But you you want you want the Lord to bless you with a new car. But <laughs> you can't give him 10% of, of what you already don't got. Huh? And I know a lot of people say, you know, they don't want to sow them. But here's my thing. And they said, Ali preach, you got, you know, you got Creflo Dollar. He don't, <laughs> baby, he don't buy the jet. Now he's saying you ain't got a tie. That's why he said you ain't got a tie. But what? <laughs> here's my thing. <laughs> when you give your money, you know what you're giving it for. Huh? What they decide to do with that is on them. Their blood is on their hand. Their blood ain't on your hand. You know you giving to the Lord. You know you give it to the house or wherever you you reside and you go to church. If you give it to the church, if you give it to the homeless and you give it to whoever, you know, when you do that, see, and, and they go out and buy a jet, <laughs> that's on them. <laughs> that's that blood that 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 they taking the, the people money and running with. But you knew, but you you also gotta have discernment too. Mm-hmm. I'ma say that. I ain't gonna say nothing else. I may say too much. You gotta have discernment. What's 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 this? Rhonda oh, okay. says we love you, Granny, and we love Hey you. Rhonda. Hey Rhonda, baby. So you know, while we already, you know, we <clears> talk <throat> about the church house. So um Beyonce around here sampling um the clock sisters music and putting everybody up in an uproar with her church girl song. What what uh-huh. Granny got to say about that? Granny ain't got nothing to say. Cause, cause, cause if I'm being honest, the church be sampling blues, R and B, rock, hip hop. <laughs> everybody sampling everybody music, and so the Clark sister said it was okay. Who am I? I can't, you know. At least, at least people know now it's the Clark sisters, and they're gonna be like, "Who is the Clark sisters?" And then they're gonna go find the Clark sisters and see. Oh, okay, so I like this. Let me figure out who they singing about. They singing about this guy. Who is God? And you never know. It's always something in the works. You mm. see, you see, he it, it can be used and set up all for God's glory at the end of the day. Now I heard that church girl, it, it, and it ain't for church girls. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's for it's for a couple of y'all that be that be in and out saying it ain't. It's <laughs> it's for a couple of y'all. But 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 what I'm trying to say is the gospel community, music community, just in general, samples everybody music. Fred Hammond, he don't sample some of the greatest R&B groups back in the day. Show did he he sampled what's them boys? What's them them boys? The boys, boys to men stuff. Uh, Kurt Frank, you know Kurt. He, <laughs> baby, Kurt Franklin don't sample everybody, huh? Rock and roll, hip hop, but what they doing is. They they sample that to bring it to the glory of God. Now, so far as the Clark sisters allow Beyonce, they ain't got nothing to do with me. I like I like I like Beyonce sometimes. Yeah, I don't say nothing, huh? Cut their air on. Ain't nobody cut no air on Kim. Sit on back now. Sit on back. Sit on back. You got five dollars to put towards this bill. If I cut the air on, I don't Granny think. Say, Granny say run them coins, Kim. 
that she can turn on turn on that AC. Yeah. And then Granny, I'm gonna ask you about this because um <clears throat> the last three years, you know, we got COVID, um, we got monkey pops. Granny, we need a remedy. We 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 need a homemade remedy. We need something out yeah. your kitchen. Well, first of all, if y'all stop eating all this stuff, y'all'll be all right. It's just what you process in your body. So you you got all this stuff, milk and stuff, got all this mucus in it, and that's how, that's how everything get all congested. So so what I would recommend for this COVID is, is 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 you get you some lemons, get just go out. You, if you ain't got no lemon tree, I got a lemon tree out there in the back. Get you some lemons, get you some raw honey, huh? Get you get you, get you a little a little pinch of salt. That's a pinch now. Don't don't don't. We don't need no blood pressure. <laughs> and get you some of that Vicks Vapor Rub and put it in a pot and you let it steam up, see? And when you let it steam up, it'll get all that gunk up out of it. But if y'all stop eating half of the stuff y'all eat, y'all be all right. Then what you can do is, for the monkey pops, I ain't, I ain't never seen nobody with the monkey pops. So, 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 so. But what I will say is, when they had the chicken pox, you get you some of that pink oil, you know, that pink lotion. <laughs> the pink oil? Yeah, you, the, yeah, the pink lotion. The hair? No, not that. Not that, but the pink lotion, the little stuff you put on there to dry it all up. Oh, and that, don't scratch my lotion. Yeah, yeah. That 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 stuff right there. And you don't you don't scratch them there. You don't you don't supposed to scratch them, but you put all that up on your skin and you rub it in, you just leave it for a little, get you some peroxide, maybe some of that, some of that uh the that witch hazel. Uh-huh. And see you get you get some of that and you and you and you get all that together. You'll be all right. Sometimes what I used to do back and I don't do it too much now, but I used to uh I used to put a little bleach in my water just so all the you know, just so all the stuff can get out my body. I ain't never put in put it in my areas, but you know, I just get all this stuff. When you go outside, it just it's just so nasty out there. Good morning, baby. Yeah, that calamine, that can that can 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 calamine lotion. That 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 stuff right there. But you know, I, I used to put a little bleach in my water to to bathe myself. You know, and 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 you know that that kept my skin. Look, that's why I look so young. Uh huh. That's why I ain't cracking. Granny, how mm-hmm. old are you? I, I mean, uh, I know we ain't supposed to ask no woman, but but Granny, you look so good. I know, I know it. I'm I'm sweet sixteen, baby. No, nah, I'm twenty one. I can't I can't have no drink at sixteen. <laughs> I'm sweet twenty one. Uh huh. Sweet twenty one. I'm sweet twenty. Yeah, sweet 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 twenty one. Uh huh. Hey, baby, how y'all doing? I don't know. I was I saw some fly up. I don't know what they were. But but Granny, I want to thank you for taking the time um and uh-huh. like answering some of our questions because you know it's just that we've been. Most of us have been scared to ask these questions, you know, mm-hmm. over our lifetime. Rightfully so, rightfully so. You know, we just, you know, we just need, we just needed, we just needed to know because, you know, some of the things that I asked you about, like, I'm doing that right now with my kids. And, you know, I know they're going to, you know, I know they're going to want to know at some point. And I just want to make mm-hmm. sure that we, you know, we giving the right answers. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't mind answering no question, but you kind of bombarded me. I got water sitting in the sink for these dishes and stuff and everything. But but I don't mind. You know, sometimes you just got to get tough skin. These people, these, some of these people these days just ain't got no tough skin. And 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 see, a lot of the stuff that we do, we prepare you for the real world because the real world is true. Mm-hmm. Uh, now I still love you. I'm 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 gonna show you some love. I'm I'm gonna love on you. I'm gonna show up to the games and the graduations and stuff and everything. But this world is brutal, huh? They hurt your feelings and they they won't care. But if I hurt your feelings and I still put some love behind it, you'll be prepared for it. Now I ain't trying to cause no trauma, y'all. Y'all, that's y'all favorite word these days: trauma, trauma, childhood trauma. It, I ain't trying to cause no trauma or nothing like that. But you know, sometimes you just you really have to. Make and mold these kids to, to get some thick, some some thick skin. You ain't gonna win everything. A participation trophy. What is that? Just so you can feel included. So so I, I understand, you know. But at the same time, you ain't gonna win in life at everything. And if you if you start your children out learning and, and thinking and learning that they're gonna win at everything, when they don't win, they're gonna be upset. Mm-hmm. Real upset, and they go, they gonna want to hurt somebody else because they didn't. They, they mama told them that they supposed to get a participation, even though they didn't win, so they still got a, a little prize. 
But in the real world, when you don't get a prize, see, they hurt. Then they want to hurt somebody else. See, and that's what, you know, it's that's what it boiled down to, just some thick skin. And I, I love all my children, my grandchildren, and my, and my, my you know, Ray, she get on my nerves every single day. But I still love her. Y'all don't see that. She don't be putting that on camera. She don't. She don't. She don't, she don't be putting it on there. But so I still right be loving on the truth. Right now, now he's telling the truth, Granny. She, 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 she tell the truth. She tell the truth. But, she, but, but, but I still be loving on. She. Why you think she over here all the time? If I was being that hard, she wouldn't be here. I mean, but there was one video where she was kind of upset. She was crying, she, and she wanted her mama. And you had that fly squatter. I did, cause she was cutting up when she when her mama dropped off for me to babysit. When I tell you a child to sit down, you need to sit down. You don't, you, you, you don't you, see y'all what the kids don't did. They don't, they don't think they got smart to try to talk back. We don't, we don't do that. Talking back. You mind your elders now. If there's some kids watching y'all, who, 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 if there's some kids watching it, y'all supposed to mind your elders and your parents and, and, and yes, ma'am and no, ma'am. And, and you know, this, 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 this is just how I grew up. And it ain't, it ain't, you know. You just got to you gotta mind your people. I'll let you do what you want to do, but you ain't going to disrespect grandma and her house. You going outside to your mom house. Uh-huh. Go down to your other grandma house. So, Grant, I do got two more questions. Then we're going to let you go. Did you, ever right. let, did you ever let Ray cook those noodles? I didn't. Uh-uh. <laughs> if, if, she can eat, if the other grandkids can eat cabbage, so can she. That's what's wrong. You want to eat this pro processed food. Now, you get you some good cabbage, you'll be all right. So uh uh I didn't. Now she probably snuck and did it because she knows she's sneaky. Yeah, but but, but you know, to cook them, Granny. You probably was napping. Yeah, I probably that's probably what that smell was in here the other day, with that hot sauce and stuff. And uh, yeah, mm -hmm. you go. She don't get enough of putting that hot sauce on everything. You Does just keep you y'all keep on. Out uh, uh, who? Do she be eating those hot takis too? I ain't heard about no no. I don't, I don't think I know what no takis is. But she do be having some hot chips and stuff and everything running around spicy food. I say you keep you keep on living here. You keep you keep on you keep you keep you keep on living. You ain't gonna be able to do all that. Uh huh. Who is that? Why do young boys with the baby? I don't know. I I, I don't uh, you know. My kids they with the bed. They got a spank. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Better get up. <laughs> Better get on up. <laughs> you know that song, Granny. No, I don't know that. No, it's, you know, what's that? You, you, it you sound like KC and it's JoJo. No, KC and JoJo. Jodeci. I know. I heard of Jodeci. They be making that nasty music. Uh huh. <laughs> Who we chat? Yeah. But listen, y'all, I want to thank Ray and Granny for coming through Jaspirations today. I want to thank you so much. We had so much fun. Um, and Granny, I really thank you for dropping all of this knowledge and answering all of the questions. Mm -hmm. You guys, listen, if you have more questions and you want to hear more from Granny, let us know. Maybe we can do this again because there's so much wisdom and knowledge that Granny can drop on us. Um, Ooh, Granny, oh, can you, um, oh. Granny? I know Ray not Ray's like over there doing something else, but can you tell us where we can find, like, where we can follow Ray and what, how we can get some of her merchandise? Oh, you want to tell these folk? Give, give me, give me like two seconds. Okay, and she Ray, don't run over here. Right yeah, go. Okay. Yeah, give me one sec. You guys, I hope that you are enjoying crying and laughing. We talking um on the Jaspirations live show. If you are loving it, give us some likes, some hearts, some smiley faces. I am enjoying myself. Thank you guys so much for for tuning in and for putting those questions out there so that we can get some wisdom and some knowledge for Granny. So Granny, I guess she feel all right. And Granny done left the building and she just sent Ray back because Granny is tired of us. Yes, she is. Ray, can, I'm sorry. Mm. Ray, can you tell us where we can find you, how we can follow you, and then how we can yes. get your merchandise? So my merch, I just changed the color of my shirt. But <laughs> um, good news. Good news. So first of all, the website is www.com 
J-U-S-R-A-Y dot com. So you can buy my merch there. You can get a coffee mug. The coffee mugs are actually about to be um, taken off the website because there's only like, I think like five more that I can sell. So I'm about to get ready to just snatch those off the website and wait for a different release. But the shirts, you guys, I know you guys see this color and this color is not on the website, but good news, September 1st, I will have colors. So I will have a, uh, an, uh, like an olive green mm -hmm. and I will have a beige color for the month of September going until I believe October 15th. And then I'm going to release some other colors. So you guys will be able to get colors. You can go to justray.com to get those. You can get the coffee mugs. Um, if you want to follow me on social media, of course, you guys have me on Facebook. My Instagram, I have two Instagrams, but whichever one you want to follow. Uh, my first Instagram is I'm just Ray with two Y's, I think. Let me go look. So, baby, I don't even know. Let's go see. I'm just Ray. So, yes. Instagram. Um, somebody I said, am J-U-S-R-A-Y-Y. -Y. So, two Y's. I am, I am, no, I am J-U-S-R-A-Y-Y. -Y. No, I'm, I am mm -hmm. J-U-S-R-A-Y-Y. -Y. So if you guys can see that, that is me. And then I have my personal page, which if you send me messages on, on this page, I can see them a lot better than my other page. And that's just in Ray's eyes. Okay. So okay, um, Jean, my, I was putting them in the um, comments, but Ray Jean got you. Your girl got you. Yeah, that's, that's my camera woman. <laughs> she, she helps me out. <laughs> so my, uh, my YouTube, you guys, I am monetized, so I just want to say thank you. If you're watching this on replay or you're watching this live, thank you. If you watch the video, if you share the video, uh, thank y'all. So, um, Just Ray is my YouTube name. Ooh, ooh, can't show y'all too much. Just Ray. <clears throat> so, J U S R A Y. That is my YouTube. Um, my TikTok is in Ray's eyes. And. I, is that it? I don't know. I'm on every social media platform. So she's on social media. So YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. So you can follow Just Ray for um, funny videos. Um, she's posting daily. I think sometimes she's posting a couple times a day. And mm -hmm. then, of course, make sure you go to the www.justray.com so that you can yes. get some merch. So, yeah. um, just raise it. Anything you would like to say to the people before we end our show today? Um, just thank you guys for supporting me. Uh, I hope you guys keep supporting me. I promise to keep clean content. I know a lot of people love that my content is very clean, no cursing. Um, I really want to make this a full time thing. So, and I'm just putting this out there in the atmosphere. I don't care who's watching. I don't care who's. This is what I want to do. Um, help people. I want to do this full time, make content, create content. And also, if you if there's anybody out there, it doesn't matter what you want to do, whether you want to create content, braid some hair, make a cake, cook some food, cut hair, whatever you want to do, I say go for it. Um, it is going to be nerve wracking at first. But once you get it and you keep doing it and you keep doing it and you keep doing it, it's literally you cannot skip the process. My minister of music, uh, K.O. Porter, so I'm going to put y'all up on game. He is a gospel rap artist, and he has music everywhere, okay? He didn't pay me to promote, but I, I believe in his vision. He said that you cannot skip the process, so you might as well get started now. You can't. You will not skip the process. So it's like people think that you start today, successful tomorrow. It does not work that way. You will have to go through the process. You are going to have to fail. If you're not failing, you're not trying. Failure is just a part of the process. Success. You have to get started. doesn't matter what you want to do. If you want to go after that job, if you want to go after, you know, go back to school. If you're 15, you want to go back to school. There's a process. You cannot skip the process. And yes, it's going to be hard, but the reward at the end. Is what you're all doing it for. You know, you know your vision. So do it. It's nerve wracking. Trust God. Put your faith in God. Talk to God every single day. I talk to God daily, daily, four o'clock in the morning. 
-hmm. daily. So just do it. Um, you can't skip that process. And it's, every day is a process. So just do it. That's, that's just, I feel like Nike, but I'm not, I'm not Nike, but just seriously, just whatever you want to do. You never, you never know that, that one person, those two people who are watching you, you're changing their lives daily, mm -hmm. you know, and just do it. I love you too, Pamela. Absolutely. I always say that, you know, everybody goes through the process, but the journey is different. Right. So you go through that process. Your journey's not going to look like everybody else's, but you're going to get there. And then my friend Shondale says, do it scared. Yep. Right. Do it so scared. do it scared. Just, you know, just do it. So again, Ray, I want to thank you so much for coming through today. And I want to thank you for bringing granny. Um, I yeah. would like to thank everyone for watching this morning. I'm so excited and so honored and thankful that you all took the time to come and hang out with us this morning. Um, if you have not liked um, any of the, like, you know, if you haven't liked Ray's pages, make sure you go and you like them. Please. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. And then if Facebook you have especially. Not, Facebook they they will not monetize me on Facebook, y'all, and I don't know why. I I don't have any strikes. I don't curse. I don't I don't do anything crazy. They will. I don't know what it is. So if you guys just keep time. watching, you all, that's what I'm saying. All in due time. time. It's a process. Um, the other thing so. too, um, I want to invite you guys. If you have not liked Jaspirations Live, please like um the page. We are every day. We are posting. Yeah. Oh, every day we are posting um, something motivational. We try to post every single day. We post on Instagram. We post on Facebook. We want to make sure that we are putting positivity out into the atmosphere. We want to make sure that we are encouraging and that we are motivating and that we're providing a platform that you can go um, and you can get something positive and you can feel safe. Also, be sure to join us every Friday at eight o'clock for Fill Up Fridays Live. You guys, we have a really good time. We just talk about our week. We relax. We relate to each other. We reflect and we talk about what are we going to do to fill up next? What do we need? And then, of course, sometimes we have Saturday sit downs um, and we just talk about caring events. We talk about things that's happening out in the world. Sometimes we think that we're the only mm -hmm. one that's going through something. But we are you are not alone. You're not the only nope. person that's going through it. And most importantly, you do not have to go at it alone. There are a group of people who um, are out there waiting for you to support you. And like Ray said earlier, like we need each other. I need yes. her. She needs me. We need each other. The Bible says like we have a need for thee, right? So we're one body and we're many members, right? I hope I said that right. Um, but, you know, we need each other. We all have a need for each other. So, you guys, we hope that you enjoyed the show. We enjoyed you. We love you guys so much. Um, all of the followers, regardless of why you're here, how you came to come here, we're thankful that you guys were here this morning. Enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure that you fill up on something positive. And as always, BJ Spire. All right. Bye, y'all. Love y'all.